Hi everyone, my name is Ibel Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest Card Design Concept. This is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number, you can call me, okay? Uh, these are the list of softwares which I've covered on our YouTube channel. They are very, very much available on our Telegram platform where we train people on how to install their software, how to crack it, and how to design using those softwares, okay? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to actually. Um, import your point okay that is your survey data as uh from um maybe your cxv file or as a text file okay into your uh, civil 3d okay let's jump right into it right now okay uh this is actually the software once you uh, open this this is actually how it's actually going to appear uh civil 3d uh you can actually use it as an autocad file you can use it as AutoCAD rather sorry uh, you can see the full name is AutoCAD Civil 3D you can actually use it as AutoCAD if I actually switch this you are going to see uh, just an AutoCAD interface okay uh, that you are actually familiar with if you are familiar with your AutoCAD environment you will see uh, the interface is actually just the normal AutoCAD that you know you can actually do your designs exactly just like the way you use your normal AutoCAD okay um, and then uh, you can switch to uh, the civil 3D part of uh, the software, okay? So it's more like a two-in-one software. You can use it as a plain AutoCAD. If you have the software on your system, you don't even need AutoCAD anymore, okay? Because uh, it has both AutoCAD in it and civil 3D as well, okay? So uh, as it is in drafting an annotation, uh, we can use it as normal AutoCAD, okay? Uh, I just want to make uh, this video as brief as possible and we're actually going to be minimizing this right now. Uh, let me explain something briefly to us. Okay, sorry, still loading. Okay, you can see uh, it has appeared as an AutoCAD environment that you are actually uh, familiar with it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to switch it back to uh, the normal civil 3D uh, aspect okay so if you are actually uh, very good with your AutoCAD uh, I don't think you will find civil 3d uh, um, difficult as a civil engineer okay uh, the software won't uh, actually be that difficult for you to understand okay it's actually very easy I'm going to check you through uh, that process right now okay sorry uh, the software is actually kind of heavy so taking some time to actually load okay uh, let me click on this drop down here um, switch it back to civil 3d okay I'll click here to switch it back to civil 3d okay it's actually loading in the background okay okay so uh, let me take you to some of uh, the survey data I already have on uh, this system right now. I'm going to be explaining uh, some of these uh, things to us in order for us to understand better. Sorry about this. Okay. Okay. Um, I have a folder which I actually created for this I have some uh, survey data there okay this edited survey data um, I'm going to be explaining you can see here this is survey data okay there is one I named uh, edit if you check the name this is edit this one is not edited okay so uh, this one that is not edited is the file I, I got from uh, the surveyor okay after getting all our points from uh, the site okay so this was actually what i got from the surveyor uh, it's actually still loading uh, so i'm going to show you this and i'm going to show you this other file and i'll tell you the difference uh, between these two files okay it's actually the same file but you can see uh, this has already been edited uh, by me and this one is actually direct uh, data that i got from the surveyor that is actually not edited okay 
Uh, so you discover that one of these files is actually going to be recognized by the software and then the other file that is not edited is actually not going to be recognized by the software okay so uh, i'm going to be showing you practically uh from the software okay this is actually still loading so uh let's allow this to load if you already love what you're seeing make sure you like this video leave it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel you see a red button down below uh, just click on that red button and you have subscribed already you see a red button within subscribe and you have subscribed already it's actually 100 percent free okay go down below the description of this video you find a link to this channel uh, visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy okay now you can see uh this is actually the raw data i got from the survey you can see here within east north and then these are the elevations okay um you can see some reference there you can see uh, the name of uh, the site itself okay um, now I want you to actually note uh, the difference I'm going to uh, double click on this so as to open this other file now uh, usually uh, civil 3d I usually use either CSV file uh, or um, the text uh, file okay uh, format okay so you can actually use a csv file format or you can use a tar format now you can see these data are actually the same but uh, this was actually edited by me now if you check you discover the difference that i actually take off the east the north the elevations and all this reference because it is actually not going to be recognized uh, by the software so if i try to import this that is uh, you can see this one has edit um, this one has no edit okay so i just use this name to actually differentiate these two different files so i'm going to be closing these two files uh but before closing this uh, i'm going to be showing you something briefly uh if you come to file for example if you come to your save as okay um in order to save this file as a cxv file i'm going to click uh, this folder because i want it to send that same uh, folder that I already have those data already so uh, by simply clicking uh, it's going to take me back to uh, this point where I can actually rename uh, the file and then change uh, the format at which I actually want to save uh, my file so it's actually loading now you can see save as type uh, you can if I click on this drop down you can see different formats at which I can save this file but like I said earlier on, uh, Civil 3D um, recognizes uh, a CSV file and it recognizes, I use CSV comma delimited uh, or I can use text tab delimited, okay? So uh, it's either you use any of these two formats. These are the formats I actually use uh, mostly. These are the two common formats I can tell you about. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, these two formats to illustrate uh, how you can actually import your file to the civil 3d okay so um all you need to do is just to save your work as a csv file okay um my file already is actually saved as a csv file okay so uh the software is actually going to recognize it because uh it's already in that format so it's uh both in csv and it's also in tab uh delimited okay uh this is a text file let me just show you that format briefly uh sorry my system is actually <laughs> okay it's actually slow right now because of the software uh but uh, i believe we can still trash this out now you can see this file and this file they are actually both text documents you can see if you check the letter and you can see uh the type of uh, this file you can see the name here telling us it is a text document this is also a text document uh but this is actually saved as a csv file okay uh, then let's go to properties i just want to show you something okay good now you can see uh, microsoft excel comma separated value okay that's the csv actually means comma separated value okay 
uh, so you can see this file already is saved as a CSV file okay so if you have your file from uh, the surveyor uh, make sure you save your file as a CSV file and then make sure you do that addition which I actually showed you or else uh, the software is actually not going to recognize it if you come back here too as well if you go to the property of this file you discover I have changed all these files to uh, CSV files okay now you can see uh, they are also this one is also a Microsoft Excel comma separated values okay uh, but if you come here you can see this is actually a text document if you go down to the properties of uh, this file uh, if you try to check uh, the file you discover uh, uh, let's see what do we have here come to detail so you can see dot txt okay it's telling you it's actually a text uh, document okay fine okay so uh, let's go down to the software now this is uh, our civil 3d software okay um, now this is the interface for uh, your civil 3d okay so uh, here uh, there, are, there are cases whereby uh, you may open this software and then you discover that uh, this uh, tool space is actually not showing on your own uh, software uh, and without this honestly your work is actually not going to be possible so uh, sometimes uh, it is actually uh, either turned off from this place uh, to your tool space you can see I just click on tool space and that has actually gone off if I click on that uh, two space again, uh, you will discover that it's actually going to come back on. Okay. Um, so uh, today on this uh, video, I'm going to be focusing on point. Okay. So if you come to my settings, uh, this is actually the first thing that you must do uh, is to import your survey data. These are your points. Okay. They are points because uh, your levels are taken at points. Okay. Uh, now once I go to my settings I'll come to my drawing and click and then I'll right click on it and I'll go to edit drawing settings now um, you discover the particular window we actually appear okay it's still loading good now uh, you can see here what we have under our category here is showing us uh, Africa okay we have available coordinates okay so uh this is africa but uh i'm actually in nigeria so uh if based on your country so you actually pick based on your country uh for example if you are working in nigeria or if you are working in nigeria or your site is located in nigeria uh, definitely uh, or the design okay it's actually in nigeria so that site is in nigeria for example and then i click on nigeria and then the available coordinates you know uh this this coordinate system is to uh reference to the sea level okay so uh mina is actually uh the only uh coordinate system we actually use in nigeria so uh, i'm going to pick on mina and then i'll click on apply and then uh, i click on okay but before then you can see we have here we have scale we have uh, international foods you can switch it to foods you can switch it to u.s survey okay now you can see here we have uh in millimeter in meters rather now you can see our drawing unit is actually in meters we use metric units uh, of measurement in nigeria so uh i'm going to leave it at that and i'll click on apply and then uh, i'm going to click on okay now you discover that this window will go off good now the next thing i'm going to do is to come back to my prospector now you can see here we have settings and then uh, above it we have prospector okay sorry this thing has actually hung a bit okay good i'll click on prospector now on my prospector you can see we have points we have points groups okay uh, on my points I'm just going to uh, right click on it and then uh, you can see create I'm going to click on create
sorry that is actually still loading okay so here the next thing here i'm going to do is to uh click on this import point okay so if you move your mouse uh, around each of these tools you are actually going to see uh the names are uh, appearing <laughs> so i click on import Import point, you can see the command. Okay. Um, now we are, we are going to import the CXV file first, then before we import a text file. Uh, you are going to see there's actually no difference between them. These are just two different. Um, formats that uh, are recognized uh, by uh, the software okay so if i click on this you remember this was actually the edited one uh okay let's start with this first and then you're going to see that uh, the software will not recognize this file so if i click on open okay still loading now you can see no point file format match found okay so uh it does not recognize this so i can cancel that and then uh, let me import the other one that i edited okay so this is the edited one and then i'm going to click on open remember i said uh this file is actually a csv file okay so it must be in a csv format or else it will still not recognize it Okay, so sorry, let me close this and take you back again. Uh, I'm going to click on this. Uh, there is a point, uh, there is a particular area I just want to explain again uh, so that uh, you will not have issues. Good, this is where I want to talk about. Now, uh, you can see here we have files of type, okay. Uh, for example, I want to import a CSV file. I will click on CSV here. You can see this are CSV. All these files are CSV format. Okay. So if I click on this, this is the edited one, and I click on open. So this is actually going to be recognized uh, by the software. Okay. Good. You can see uh, matches selected point file. Okay. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to import again. This time around i'm going to be importing a text uh, document okay so a text file um, then i'll click on that plus sign i have explained to you how you can actually um here i will just switch this to text now um the same way i i save this file as a cxv file is the same way you can save your file as a text file okay uh if you get your file as a uh, in Excel format, okay, and then uh, you can just go to your save as and then save it as a text file, okay. So, if you want to save it as a text file, you can save it as a text file, it will still be recognized by the software. You can save it as a CSV file, it will still be recognized uh, by the software as well. So, this is uh, the text document, uh, and if I click on open, uh, it is still going to be recognized by the software okay here i'm going to use the point north east and then uh, okay sorry uh, i have not east z okay uh, z is actually um, most like your the three the dimension okay so if i click on okay now um the, the this this point is actually already uh in the, in my window here already okay so all i need to do in order to see this point is just to zoom and i'm going to zoom all okay 
so you know uh it's the window was actually empty before so when i zoom all it's actually going to bring every file that is actually that i have exist that exists on that window but formerly there was nothing existing on the window but i just imported the file so uh that file is somewhere in this window but i may not be able to locate that except i zoom by typing z so you can see that the shortcut tools you use in your autocad is the shortcut keys you can still uh, use for your civil 3d in terms of your drafting and annotation aspect of uh, the software the normal drafting you can do in autocad you can still even do it in this environment uh, there is no difference it recognizes all your shortcut keys and tools okay so I will type A and I click on enter. So I just typed on Z which is to zoom. I typed on A which is to zoom all. Okay. Which is all. Now you can see uh, this is uh, my survey uh, data. These are the points. Okay, so um, if you love what you're seeing, make sure that you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, um, just click on the red button down below, you see rating subscribe and you have subscribed already, okay, make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay blessed, okay.